What's up guys, it's Mary here today. I'm going to be making a paper squishy. So first I have some paper and I'm going to be making the hula hoops cheese and onion rings. I love those. So first what I have to do is I have to carefully cut out a rectangle and I'm just gonna fold in half. Okay, now that I've folded it, I'm going to make my design. I'm going to use my unicorn pencil. I know it's really tiny, but I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, hey, here we are. So I made my hula hoops, cheese and onion. So now that I've done that, I have this really beautiful green colour. I'm going to colour my packet in. You can use any type of thing. I think I'm going to sharpen. Hey guys, so I sharpened my pencil, nice and sharp, finally now I can colour it in, I'll be right back, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so I finally coloured in my hula hoops, I didn't colour in the back because I wanted to keep it plain, and I moved to my desk because um, I, I couldn't colour on the floor, so yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to colour around the hula hoops and some of the hula hoops itself i think i should have done some hula hoops there as well but it's okay so here is my pencil pouch of course the, oh, oof, my pencils fell out of course it's a unicorn pencil because it's so cute and here's my unicorn keychain i just love unicorns so i'm gonna use this really beautiful golden color and i'm also gonna use this oh that's pink yeah huh? <laughs> here's this orange color i'm gonna use these two to make the hula hoop chips and then i'm going to get my red pencil and color a wrap uh, in the hula hoops so i'll be right back in three two one all right guys so i colored in the hula hoop sign and i'm just gonna blend in the orange a bit more it's a bit too dark Maybe I should have gotten a lighter orange, but it's okay. Okay, that's good enough for now. So now I have that. Um, I, I saw in the picture that these are just meant to stay the same. So now I'm going to colour in the hoops. But I don't have a red in this pencil case because these are all pastel colours. So I'm going to have to use another red from another pencil set. So I'll be back. Okay, I got my red from the other set. So now I'm going to colour in the hula hoop sign. Alright guys, so I finally coloured in the whole thing and I even outlined it in my paper mate black marker. It's a bit blurry. I don't think the camera's going to focus on it. Alright, so now that I finally coloured in the whole thing, um, well, except from the back. I'm going to um, get my tape. I'm going to now seal up the whole colour. This is kind of my least favourite bit because it takes quite long, but I like colouring it in and drawing it. So, yeah. So I changed the positioning of my camera so that you can have a better view of what I'm doing. So I'm going to carefully stick the tape on. Okay, now I've got my scissors. Oh. And uh, I remember. That was terrible. Okay, well, half the tape came off. So I'm going to have to uh, do it a bit more. So I accidentally ripped off that. I'll be back. Okay, my first bit of tape done. So I'm going to do the next one. Um, I love making homemade squishies. They do take a lot of effort. But it's fun as well. Where's the tape? Yeah, there. Okay, I think I'm really gonna need two layers of tape. Okay, 
cut it off. There we go. So I have a trick. Oops, sorry about that, guys. So, you know this overhanging thing? I'm not going to cut it. I'm just going to easily just flip it at the back because no one's going to see the back because I'm going to take that bit. So, it's a very easy way to do it. Just have this little piece of tape that I didn't need. And then, I'm just going to stick a bit more there. Okay, there we go. So, this page is taped. Now I have to tape this bit. Okay, guys, I taped the whole thing. So, I got a couple of air bubbles, and I have a really easy way to fix that. So, just place it on your counter, and just use your nail to kind of flatten them because the air bubbles will go straight away I'm not, I don't think it's, the camera's going to focus on it but I'll show you when I'm done so there were, can you see any air bubbles? because there, there were a lot of air bubbles on this uh, thing but I smoothed them all out okay now we're at the main bit so here comes Mr. Tape. That was a bit loud. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm going to cut a bit off. And I'm going to now tape the bottom and the side together. And then I'll put the fluff in the top. So here I tape the bottom. You can see. I'm going to tape it real well because you, I'm going to play with this really violently. <laughs> By that I mean I'm going to play with it a lot. <laughs> Not like throw and chop in the air and stuff. I don't play like that. I play like this. <clears throat> okay. Now I need to tape this side as well. I will add two layers of tape on all of the sides because then it, it's just a really strong hold holds really well so if you want you can also if you don't have cell tape you can use glue but I would not recommend a glue stick or PVA glue PVA glue can just make your paper all soggy a glue stick isn't that strong but you can use a hot glue gun I mean it would make your um, squishy a bit hard to squish just taking out all the air bubbles if you hear that pop that's the air bubbles popping. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Okay, there we go. And just put this. Okay, guys, we are now going to add the fluff. I have a lot of fluff, and I'm going to put it all in. The main bit. Uh. Yep, as I said, uh, that's why I have strong hold to them, otherwise they would do that. Alright guys, finally I am done making this. It took a while, um, but I've seen longer procedures. It's really nice and squishy. I love it. And it's a good size. And I can squish it all day. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!